Welcome to StartupRad.io, your podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events. Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to the exciting world of StartupRad.io, where innovation meet insights. Ladies and gentlemen, Entrepreneurs and enthusiasts, we are thrilled to kick off the first episode of 2024, ushering in a year of groundbreaking business news and entrepreneurial endeavors. Join us on this journey as we uncover the stories behind the headlines, connect with visionary leaders, and dissect the strategies driving success in the ever-involving world of startups. Here's a year filled with innovation, growth, and the relentless pursuit of greatness. Thank you for being a part of the StartupRate.io community. Buggle up, stay tuned, and let's make 2024 a year to remember. Really sorry here on a personal note for the delays, but the weather, the ongoing wave of infections, think Corona, Influenza, and RSV, threw a monkey wrench into my schedule, always topped off with very severe weather here in the last few days. Think freezing rain and then on top of it, heavy snowfalls. But I do promise we will be back on track for 2024 and also pick up our newsletter again on Slack and LinkedIn. Big promise. We thought we would start with an overview, looking back on 2023, and boy, it has been a harsh year for the startup scene in general, and of course for me in personal. But let us jump in. Experienced a mixed performance. Early stage investment, particularly in pre-seed and seed stages, remained resilient despite a downturn in later stage funding leading to insolvency challenges for some startups. The blog Deutsche Startups has compiled a list of more than 100 insolvencies of startups. Um, we link this in our news episode to be published next week. Our former interview guest Equidem reported a decline in the average startup valuation in Europe as a whole from 6 million in 2022 to 4 million in 2023 on average, of course, while the US saw an increase from 7 to 8 million during the same period. The Dach region, meaning Deutschland, Österreich, Schweiz, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, also known as GSA region, faced a decrease in private equity and venture capital deal value, with startup exits unfortunately plummeting by 70% or nearly 70%. However, what's the good news? Fundraising for new funds in the region proved more robust than in other parts of Europe. Germany, as highlighted by Databyte, witnessed a notable increase in insolvencies, particularly in wholesale construction and retail sector. And keep in mind, that is not only startups. The European scale-up navigator emphasized the need for more scalable startups in Europe estimating a potential of 200,000 startups to create 8.1 million jobs in certain sectors, such as deep tech, biotechnology, as evidenced by increased investments in, of course, AI and fundraising, especially by the German biotech companies in 2023. Overall, the European startup ecosystem faced headwinds in 2023, with a varying degree of impact across the regions and industries. Here are different sources for the review. Most important, they are all linked, so you can start your own digging. Look for links in our blog, medium.com forward slash startup rate dash IO, or the link down here in the show notes. I'll just go through 10 pieces. We do have quite a lot, quite a big um library of potential content and I was deciding on just to do 10 and give you one, two, three highlights from the respective publication and link them so you can do your own research. By the way, that is the way StartupRate.io was intended and set up. So in uh, so that's the way 
we intend you to use this podcast. We give you the highlights, we give you an overview. And on our blog, there's a link to the original source. And that's where you can start digging where your interest lies. By the way, Happy New Year and happy digging. Number one was the Aquidem pre seed valuations Europe. Again, we are jumping bit here between Europe, Germany, and the Dach region, and then we'll try to highlight as much as possible uh, where we are here. But Equidem only does um, a level of European startup, so that's what we're taking here. As our audience no already knows, startup valuations took a hit, but early stage investing, mostly pre-seed and seed and by some Series A funding has been going okay. Later stage funding was depressed, unfortunately, and that led to a lot of insolvencies, mostly because they could not get their next funding. The average valuation of a startup, according to Equidem, was in Europe 4 million euros in 2023 down from almost 6 million in 2022. The average valuation in the US was 7 million in 2022 with an increase to 8 million in 2023. Talking globally, only Africa, Europe and Middle Eastern startups took a valuation hit in 2023, but the valuation for startups in Latin America and the US rose. South Eastern Asian startups showed a very, very slight growth in terms of average valuation. The next piece of research we have is private capital breakdown, DACH, Deutschland, Österreich, Schweiz, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, by the Research House Pitch Book. The publication is an overview of the private equity and venture capital markets in the region. The data here is based on the report, which is which ended at end of Q3 2023, not a surprise here, but it does not look very bright. According to PitchBook, the deal value in private equity is expected to be around 14% lower this year than in previous year, and venture capital even 45% lower. Startup exit values have been down by almost 70%. The good news is that the DACH region was more resilient in fundraising for new VC funds as the rest of Europe. That's at least a glimmer of hope for the region. Databyte. Databyte is a data provider that regularly reaches out to us via email. And we found this piece of research pretty nice, uh, pretty interesting. So we include it in our review. Um, that is again, Germany, but very general business, not necessarily on startups alone, and the insolvencies in Germany exploded. The number of insolvencies rose by 6% from 2021 to 2023, but a staggering 38% in 2023. Whoa. Most companies actually filed for bankruptcy either in June, November, or December. As we already said, most insolvencies occurred in wholesale, followed by construction and retail, Surprising also consulting companies filed for insolvency as the fourth industry. There have been 9% less companies founded in Germany in 2023. November minus 26 and December minus 51% have been really tough. In total, still around 120,000 new businesses have been registered, mostly consultancies, again, followed by financial services company. Spot number three was taken by companies related to real estate. Databytes outlook, it will get better and they expect more newly found companies. <sighs> Good news here. The European scale up navigator is our next piece of research. This is a more general position paper by Rise Europe, but it fits quite well looking at later stage startups in Europe. Again, this was published in November 2023. So assume at maximum Q3 data of the year, but nonetheless, it's an interesting read. Europe, Europe needs more startups that scale. No surprise here. Europe needs startups that scale, but it has significant potential to do so. The authors estimate a potential of 200 
40,000 startups here for a total of 340,000 scaling startup, which could generate 8.1 million additional jobs and add 2.3 trillion US dollars, yes, with a T, in market capitalization, um, that to um, 5.6 trillion US dollars. And that size is three and a half times the market cap of Europe's largest index, the DAX. Germany's DAX has only 1.6 trillion US dollars in market valuations at the point uh, the research was, was uh, conducted. And they make cases for countries where they have identified successful scaling startups, namely Estonia, Sweden, Latvia, Lithuania, Germany, and Switzerland. Our fifth piece of research is the KFW VC and PE dashboard. Note the interview with the chief economy, Dr. Fritzi köhler geip of KFW here, where we talked about this dashboard. We'll link it in the show notes. The database is based again on Q3 2023, quarter over quarter. The deal volume and number of deals are down by more than 20%. Also, larger deals in the scale-up space have been lower, but startups in Series A and B have risen more than 100 billion euros, which gives hope for the years to come. 2023 could be a deal, could see a deal volume of 8 billion euros, according to KFW, surely below record, but still above many pre-corona years. So the long-term trend upwards is still intact. Our sixth piece of research is tech.eu 2023 annual report together with VC Creatum. Note, we are dealing here with a European perspective that puts German numbers um, before a bit into perspective. The overall deal volume is down by almost 40% across Europe, uh, across the continent with 6 uh, 67.7 billion euros were invested by more than 13 thousand investors the top countries receiving the funding did not change uk 24 billion germany 8.7 billion france 8.2 billion and the netherlands 6.1 billion the new darling of the investors are energy and clean tech startups no surprise here um who raised more than 17 billion euros across Europe in total. Note Switzerland made a remarkable number six with 2.8 billion euros. 2023 European Deep Tech Report by Dealroom. The authors write that Europe has all it takes to become a global deep tech hub. The category was amongst the most resilient VC categories, which held steady compared to 2022. To put this in perspective, fintech was down 70% in uh, in a funding slump. Deep tech hubs are emerging across Europe with Stockholm, London, Paris, Grenoble, and Munich. The EY startup barometer January 2024. This is by EY Germany and just Germany. According to EY, the numbers are bleak and startups in Germany only raised 6 billion euros. Remember, KFW said it could reach 8 billion euros. Um, and yes, the numbers are different for the different reports and they never matched. Don't worry, it's matching to us as well, but it gives you a general trend. AI startup investments jumped fourfold. The hardest hit by the lesser funding was actually Berlin. Good news, also EY is of the opinion that we reached rock bottom in terms of startup funding. Number nine, German Trade and Invest. That is the basically the investment promotion agency of Germany. Record fundraising for biotech companies in 2023. Another bright spot next to deep tech, clean tech investments, especially AI, are investments in biotechnology startups. One just needs to remember the smashing success of BioNTech to know why. German Trade and Invest Board's report that more than 1 billion euros was invested in German biotech companies in 2023, up from around 900 million euros in 2022. And last but not least, an article by tech.eu with insights from Pitchbook. We like that because it condenses a little bit the very 
strong uh, content of the PitchBook article. Um, this is based on another big report by PitchBook covering all of Europe, um, similar to the to their own report, Pitchbook finds minus 41%, minus 49.1% fewer investments by volume at the end of Q3. The forecast is that the total investment 2022 of 109 billion euros will not be reached. Keep in mind for all of Europe. Again, highlights are clean tech and AI startups looking at the regions. France, Benelux has had the largest gains compared to 2022 with plus 27.8%, followed by Dach region with 24.3%. Guys, that was a lot of data. Really, really sorry if I threw that all to you, like in such a short amount of time. But as I said, go down here in the show note. There is a link to our blog post. And in the blog post, there are all the links to all the data. You can start digging and keep digging, 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 like I did for hours or even days. Um, if you have any questions, mail me joe at startuprate.io. Happy to reply, happy to hear from you. And um, make sure to go down here in the show notes and leave feedback on our audience survey, especially if you'd like to have similar solo pieces in the future. Last time you said, yes, you won. So I keep doing them. And of course, we will also pick up our entrepreneur interviews in the future. Um, as I said, we actually planned an entrepreneur interview today, but well, the person was sick, so we could not do any thing about it. Again, happy new year 2024. Make it a better year than 2023. We will totally try our best to do it as well. Keep digging. Thank you very much. Have a great day. That's all folks. Find more news, streams, events, and interviews at www.startuprad.io. Remember, sharing is caring.